Aditya Mukherjee. Welcome to my Lightroom tutorial number one. In this video, I'll be going over the process of making a beautiful panorama using nothing but Lightroom. Let me tell you beforehand that the pictures you're going to see are not sharp because I shoot with a Nikon L310, which is certainly not a DSLR or a mirrorless. It's a point and shoot and it's ancient. It's a discontinued model. What I mean to say is that it does not produce uh, good quality images. Anyways, let's make the panorama. So here we are in Lightroom CC. For importing the images, you have to go to File, click on Import Photos and Video. Then you have to navigate to the folder where you have saved the uh, images for making the panorama. Now inside the folder, you'll find all your photos. Click on this checkbox uh, of the photos you want to import. So I'm going to import these three. Now from this menu, go to Develop. Now open up this menu and keep pressing on control and click on all the three files. So this will select all of the files. I'm going to start editing with this photo. You can edit this as you like it to be, but I'm going to show you my process of editing. First, I'm going to go up with the contrast. I do like the exposure, so I'm going to keep it at zero. I want more detail out of that highlight. I think shadows are fine, so I'll just keep it right there. I'll shift the black points so that I can see a bit of black in there. By the way, I'm doing this by pressing on Alt and moving the black slider. This thing shows the points where it's completely black. So if I pull it way down, so all the trees will be black too, completely black. So now if I release the Alt button, you see all the trees over here are black and this is obviously black. So I'm not, I, I don't want that. So I'm going to keep it right there. And I'm just going to pump the white points. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to pump up the clarity a bit because it really adds a dramatic feel to the image. And I would want a little bit more vibrance. I'm going to pump up the greens here a little bit. Not that much. Yeah, I'm going to pump down the yellows. I'm going to pump up the reds a little bit. I'm going to pump down the aqua. Uh, this basically makes the water look more greenish. You see here, it's more greenish than this one. So I'm just going to keep it right there. Now blues, I really want the sky to be blue, but it doesn't happen like this. So I'll be doing that in a different way. I'll be coming to split toning later after doing the noise reduction and all. Now sharpening, uh, I want to select this point. I think for this image, 70, 68 is a good amount. I'd go down with the radius a bit. Details, I'd like a bit more. And masking. To do the masking properly, you have to press on Alt again and drag the slider now make sure uh, wherever there's a flat surface it is totally black so i would like this the white lines are basically being sharpened and the black flat areas are not now this looks fine so i'm just going to leave it right there noise reduction 20 is a good number for this image yeah it looks fine over here at 20 Again, I said that my camera is not the sharpest one, so you can't expect DSLR quality from this. It's just a point and shoot with a very tiny sensor in it. Uh, I'm not gonna do much with the color noise because I'm not seeing any. No, I, I think I have to. Like 70 here is fine. Now, vignetting would not look good on a panorama, so. I'm not going to add that. Maybe I'll add it after making the panorama. Now, split toning. So for the highlights, uh, I might like this color. Let's make it a yellow and yellow for the highlights and blue for the shadows. That looks fine. That's that adds a bit of dramatic feel to the image. Now, after doing all of these, just hit sync. Uh, make sure all of your p images are selected and hit sync. Click on synchronize. And if you 
click on this image you'll see that this one is also uh, edited in the same manner so all of these edits apply to all of these images so just check uh, that all all of the images are proper or not again select all the images mine is already selected and go to photo photo merge panorama and wait for it to create the panorama preview you can choose any one of spherical cylindrical or perspective whichever looks fine i'm going to stick with perspective and i'm going to crop this part off i'll do it after merging the panorama so click on merge it'll take a bit of time for creating the panorama and we have our panorama right here it's loading okay so here's the panorama i know it's not a good looking panorama but yeah it's just made for the purpose of making the video so let's crop it to our desires you can see how much lightroom has cropped this thing the actual image after merging was like this two trapeziums and one rectangle thing or whatever i'm gonna rotate this a bit because this horizon doesn't seem straight yeah this looks fine now i'm gonna click on this lock icon which allows us to freely crop the image and i'm gonna crop this foreground part out just there yeah and hit enter i think i'm also gonna make a horizontal uh, shifting if that's the correct word it's over here lens corrections horizontal yeah i'm gonna do that this looks fine and click on constraint crop i said earlier that i want the sky to be blue so now i'm going to do that so select this graduated filter and apply a filter over the sky now uh, come over here to color and select this blue one it adds a little bit of blue not that much for bringing out the blue color what you're going to do is you can bring down the temperature of this thing see how much blue it became so i'm just gonna keep the temperature at minus 10 so that looks fine but here it's completely blown out so i'm gonna add a radial filter and apply it to the blown out region to make that region blue i'm gonna increase the feathering so that it doesn't uh, become a sharp change from white to blue okay now again i'm gonna make it blue colored and bring down the temperature a lot so i can't do much anything in here because uh, this region is completely blown out uh, only this part has become blue but uh, i'm pretty sure that there is a lot of noise over here so we're gonna have a look at it full screen so it looks quite good so i'm gonna say export it for exporting in lightroom you click on file export and over here export location choose the folder you want to export in over here uh, it would generally be at 80 so i'd recommend you pull it up to 100 and image format is jpeg and if you want to rename this file to anything else you can do it from here custom custom name so i'm just going to keep it like this and hit on export so it says exporting one file okay now it has exported so you can minimize this window and go to the folder where you have exported the file now here it is uh, let me check if it's the same or not yeah it's the same just preview it anyways this was a process of making a panorama in lightroom I think you have found this informative and you have enjoyed the video. So if you have found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and share this video if you like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more notifications from this channel. Furthermore, if you want your images to be edited, go over to fiverr.com slash adityam11 where you'll find my gigs. I edit images in Lightroom and Photoshop so you can order the gig which suits your needs. 
and you're always welcome to make a custom offer and be sure to follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook so that's it from this video I'll see you in the next one